with a passion. Let me begin by welcoming for today. Of the parents, all of you sitting in front of me, to have the DIE's son and daughter and nephew be with us shows it's it's just not been mere growth. It's been growth with tremendous quality, and that is something I think we should all be uh, very tremendously happy about. I also must say that it is not only the school that has grown. Sarnal has been very careful in ensuring that as the school grows, the surrounding areas, the locality grows. I, I lost my way here because I didn't realize that the school had a tar road. When I came, isn't it? Saral, yeah, it's a, he's nodding. The bridge has been rebuilt. It used to be a very narrow bridge. And, and he has to face, uh, he had to face a lot of red tape. I know the things that he has gone through to get the road wide, the bridge widened. And now we have a beautiful tar road here. I lost my way because I didn't realize there was a tar road here. So it's been growth. Not only for the school, not only for the students, but it's been development all around and I think that's what an institution should put to the area. We all believe in social responsibility. Ultimately, what is social responsibility? To give back to the area that you've come in, something from the profits that you make. I don't think they're making any profits. We are still running in huge losses. But even with those losses, to see that the area develops is something I think very significant. I should therefore spend a word more about Sanan. He's a man with a vision, He's a man with a great thought and there are people with vision but many times they have to depend on others to implement the vision. Here is one person. Yes, sir. I, uh, I open a new mission and uh, Mr. Sanal, my good friend, he helped me with that one. I know how good he is in delivery. I'm sure that school as well with the able management it will come up as one of the finest school which already it is because uh, with a great pleasure I, I uh, came to know that uh, this was uh, recognized as uh, the best school in Tissue and uh, one of the best school in Kerala. Uh, I must congratulate for this journey in a very short time as it just inaugurated in, in uh, 2019 in a short span of time it's a huge journey considering the time of COVID where everything was stopped for around two, two and a half years. Dear students you are full of hope. Uh, and I consider all of you as ambassador of future. As I'm speaking here today, uh, as a representative, it is a day recognized by United Nations. And every country celebrates that one, February, as International Mother Language Day to celebrate and to pay tribute to the martyrs who paid their lives for language. I know for you, language is a very nearer and nearer thing, like us. So, in this month of February, I pay my tribute to the language martyrs across the world. If we look back, our independence in 1971 under the leadership of our father. We are As I am attending this particular day, it is reminding of the time when I used to be the student and attended my uh, school's annual day along with my parents. And as I was entering, we witnessed that there was a cattle about my story. Uh, I Wherever I go, I tell this. I When I was a child, I saw one dream. That is, 
just opposite to my home there is one police station so i dreamt about becoming a police officer and with the support of my parents teachers i am standing before you so number one thing is that always teach your kid to dream big in life secondly we all know the characteristic of proton it is positive in nature so whatever the your kids do encourage them to be positive they may fail in first or two second attempt for example i failed in iit jee i failed in iit pali nevertheless i did not stop third thing which i feel is very important is our communication skills we must always encourage kids to excel in communication skills be it presentation skill be it writing skills be it reading skills it will definitely help wherever they go whether it is career whether it is examination <coughs> and one more thing i would like to uh, highlight is that as a parent please encourage the productive usage of internet as we all are aware that we have the access of internet but ensure that the students utilize in a very productive manner for example whenever they are not understanding any concept they can go and understand the same ahmed nadim thank you so much for emphasizing upon the holistic way of education thank you um, our very own mr mp joseph sir the way he had shared our journey of these six years on this fifth annual day of the international school of trishul sir always grateful and all the other dignitaries present on the days ma'am it's always an honor to have you sir thank you so much for being here ladies and gentlemen and the real vips are incredible students welcome to the grand spectacle that we fondly call our annual day now i know what you all are thinking on a lighter note but on a very realistic note oh another speech from ms kavita this lady seems to have fallen in love with her in own voice believe you me i try to make it very short and crisp and uh, you know i promise to be as short and as crisp more than a squirrel on roller blades so i won't take much of your time um as we gather here for our annual day i can't reflect on the year gone by it's been a roller coaster of learning unlearning relearning growing and evolving each day firstly a heartfelt thank you to our extraordinary teachers they deserve applause for transforming classrooms into the heavens of knowledge and managing to keep a straight face even during the most unexpected answers being an educator myself i can say trust me teaching is not the not for the faint of heart the admin team without them the administration would have wouldn't have been a seamless process facing the challenges and marching forward always now let's talk about these brilliant students you are like the wifi in our lives sometimes elusive but when connected you bring boundless joy in the wise words of a popular sanskrit phrase vidya dadati vinayam education bestows humility and my dear students you exemplify this beautifully 